this video, we'll go through the process of creating a data set for Comfy UI. But first, we need to take a little field trip. So let's start at the antique store. Right away, what I loved was this sign on the door that said, Inspiration Awaits, because that's exactly what I came for. And I was not disappointed at all. Uh, there were walls and walls of shelves of beautiful sculptures, uh, trinkets, paintings, uh, so many different colors and textures from various cultures. Right off the bat, there were a lot of things catching my eye, and I started looking for these kind of micro compositions, these little worlds that I could uh, capture that had enough variety um, and the kind of composition that I was looking for to be referenced. So I started snapping photos of just kind of compositions that I really liked uh, with figurines that worked well together. And I kind of realized that I was really capturing these moments, these little scenes um, of objects and forms that might normally not have been together. This was a really interesting realization for me because then it kind of made this antique store almost this melting pot of culture and art that I find similar to the experience of working with generative models. Now that I had all my images, it was time to get rid of these pesky price tags that were all over them. Luckily, in Photoshop, there's this great new tool called Generative Fill that is great for removing stuff like this. So all I really have to do is lasso around whatever I'm trying to remove and click the Generative Fill. Leaving the prompt blank usually ensures that uh, you're trying to remove something. So you don't need to type in anything like remove price tag, really. That would just kind of confuse the model. Once it's done generating, you're left with three options. Uh, you can always generate again, but I like option one here. So I proceeded to go through all of my images that I collected and kind of used the remove tool to get rid of a lot of these tags and strings and even some obstructions that I didn't really like as well. This is a very like satisfying and meditative practice in my opinion. Um, and it's really nice to kind of see all of these images and know that I'm not gonna have these weird stringy artifacts or things getting in the way um, as I build out the data set. Okay, so now I have my data set folder. So this will be a folder that I have in my documents that will act as our image input for Comfy UI. Um, what I like to do is I like to create a new folder. I'll do V1 because this is going to be like the version one that I start out with when I start um, doing my renders. Um, and I'll just copy all the images and paste them in here. Um, and the next thing that I need to do now is I need to make these all square images. So I'll go into the quick edit on all of these now and just turn them into square images. And while I'm doing this, I'm still considering the composition of the image. Um, I want to still grab the main idea and the main forms and make sure that I'm not leaving out any detail uh, when I'm cropping. I still want the image to be relatively what I was looking for when I took the original photos. All right, so now I have my data set ready to go. I have the folder ready uh, with my 27 images that I'll be using for reference, and I'll be able to copy the path and bring that into Comfy. So now we're gonna go to the next video where I'm gonna show you how to create an abstract animation in Blender that we can use as our video input in Comfy UI.